Hello everyone, my name is Cynthia and today I'm going to be showing you guys an activity that uses toilet paper rolls um, to create some stamps out of them. So what you're going to need is some um, toilet paper rolls. So I have a couple right here. Um, you're going to need some paper. So I just have computer paper, but you can use um, construction paper or just paper that you have around. And then you're going to need um, some scissors to cut out the shapes and the lines we're going to be making. And then I just have some paint. You can use any paint of your choice. I just got this one at Walmart. This is just in turquoise. And I have it in bright magenta as well. But you can pick any, any color of your choice. And then here I just have um, a paper plate. And I believe, oh, and I have a paintbrush. Because I found when I first did this activity, I found that if you are dipping your toilet paper roll into it, sometimes it's kind of hard to get coated in the color. So I just thought a paintbrush would be helpful to really get in there. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. So I'm going to be making mine to look like a, a flower. Or you can do this to the theme of the 4th of July and make it look like a firework. So it can be kind of either way, and then you can just use the 4th of July colors. So um, I'm going to start by taking my scissors, and we're just going to take it and cut straight up like this. And you're going to be doing this all the way around your toilet paper roll. So I'm just trying to make sure that they align to each other so some of them are not uneven because I noticed that when I first did this activity that if it doesn't really align with each other it's kind of hard for it when you stamp it onto your paper for it to look the same. So I'm just going to go all the way around. And you can make them as thin as you want or as wide. Kind of like up to you. I'm just going to keep going all the way around. You can make different shapes. I've seen you can make hearts out of these. Um, I found this activity on Pinterest and I saw a lot of different ideas that other people were doing. So if you want to look for different shapes and stuff that you can make, you can look on Pinterest, which is where I found it. I'm just going to keep going around. I think I'm almost done. Okay, so I'm done cutting mine. I'm just going to put it a little bit closer so you guys can see it. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip them up. Just kind of like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do that to every single one. It's faster if you do like a lot at the same time. I just take my hand and I kind of just do that so that it like flattens and to make sure that they're kind of even just so that the color can get up to them. Easier when, when they're being stamped so that they're all just even. Like that. Okay, so that's what mine looks like. And then I went ahead and did another one as well off camera, but I just did this one, almost like a sunflower. And I just cut out little um, triangles on this one. It's really, they're pretty easy to make. Now I have these two. Okay, so now I'm going to get my um, paper plate. So I have a paper plate for the pink. And then I already added some to the blue one. I'm just going to go ahead and grab my pink paint. And I'm just going to put some kind of like all around like this. Just so that when I dip it or stamp it on here, there's enough for it to coat the whole bottom of the toilet paper roll. And I'm actually going to add just more to the blue one as well. So it looks like I need more on the blue one this okay 
So I think I'm gonna do, let's try, I think I'm really curious to see how this one's gonna look. Let's do the triangle one first. So I'm gonna do, let's do this one pink. So I'm just going to go in and just dip it. Dip it like this. Just to make sure every single one is coated. I'm just going to keep going. I see some are not. Okay. So it's all the way coated. And now I'm actually going to just come over here and I'm just going to flip my camera to the paper so I can show you guys what it looks like. Let's flip it. Okay, so here's my paper. And I'm going to grab my stamp right here. And I'll show you guys a little closer up like this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and begin stamping it. So I'd like to put my hand kind of flat like that. And I lift it, and then there you have your your flower. And then you can just keep going back and dipping it to your paint, to the paint that's on the paper plate. Like that. And then I will actually show you guys how I do the, um, the blue one. So I'm going to move my paper really quick. I'm going to bring my blue paper plate and I'm going to dip this one right here. I'm going to dip this one down, down like this. I'm going to lift it to see how it looks so you can see that it still needs more paint. So then I just go around. You can twirl, twirl it around. Just keep going until every single one is coated which is almost there and I don't believe it needs to be that perfect so just like that okay so now I'm going to bring back my my plate or my sorry my paper and you can use a different paper or you can just keep the same one I'm just gonna keep the same one so I'm gonna stamp this one down. This one's a little bit trickier because it has more to it than the triangle one did. So I just kind of use my finger to help it. And then I'm just going to lift it up. And there you have that one. And there's that one. And there's so many more you can do as well. You can even, if you don't want to do the shapes, you can even, I'm going to move this one. You can even just take a regular, just like just the bottom, like the circle, and the kids can just stamp it like this, like that, coat it around, and then they can just use it as circles. Just make circles like that all around the paper. So any type of stamping works, or I like to just... You can flip it over and do the blue one on this side and then just have pink and blue on both sides. So yep, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more close. So that is everything for the activity. It's really easy to do and very inexpensive. It's things you already have around your home. Um, yep, and that's everything. So thank you for watching. Bye.